Everyone was overwhelmed by God's greatness. And while everyone was marveling at everything that he was doing, Jesus said to his disciples, take these words to heart. The human one or the son of man is about to be delivered into human hands. And they didn't understand this statement. Its meaning was hidden from them so they couldn't grasp it. And they when when they were afraid to ask him about it. And an argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. And aware of their deepest thoughts, Jesus took a little child and he had the child stand beside him. And Jesus said to his disciples, whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me. Whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. And whoever is least among you all is the greatest. Hi, I'm Pastor Nick and it's really great to be here with you today. You know, this scripture always makes me chuckle for two reasons. First, prior to everyone being in awe of the greatness of God, says verse 43, that one of Jesus' disciples has tried to heal a young boy having seizures, which his father describes as a demon possessing him. Now, yeah, seizures are not funny. I used to be an emergency medical technician, so I know. Seizures are violent and scary, but I still chuckle when I read this verse because Jesus' disciple couldn't heal the boy. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, that's not funny either. And you're right, it's not. I wish the disciple could have healed the boy. But then in the very next passage of our scripture, verse 48, the very same disciple is arguing with the other disciples about who's the greatest disciple. What? I mean, does he even have a right to argue? And then Jesus, having a good sense of humor, tells the disciple that the children are the greatest. So yeah, maybe it's a slightly dark sense of humor, but it is a humorous nonetheless. And then I chuckle a second time because I can't help but think of Ben when I read this passage. Ben was a third grader when I coached soccer back in the day. And one day during practice, Ben was trying to get his penny on. You know, a penny is one of those fluorescent practice jerseys that teammates wear so they can distinguish which team they're on. And everyone's on the field ready to play. And Ben is standing in the middle of everyone with his head down, trapped in the jersey. And Ben's jersey is so twisted at this point that he's got one arm in the head hole and the other arm is pointing straight up in the air. And then the penny is like the sash squeezing his torso. And then Ben yells out, what is this rocket science? It was so funny. And it, it makes me smile today still. And you're telling me that Jesus is saying Ben is among the greatest in the kingdom of God? I love that. It's funny and it's humbling. I think Jesus is reminding us here that we are all children of God. There's no age group excluded from God's love. In fact, we could learn a thing or two from the children. We would be better, more loving and joy-filled disciples if we were welcomed the child of God in our daily walk of faith. God's got this. We need only to open ourselves to becoming young at heart. So we want to do a practice and I want to encourage you to sing the kids song that you might know. He's got the whole world in his hands. You know, it goes, he's got the whole world in his hands. But I want you to switch the pronouns to feminine ones. So you would say, she's got the whole world in her hands. And I want you to notice how it feels to use a feminine pronoun for God. Imagine how God welcomes us like a child. How would it feel to be held in the hands of God and to open yourself up to those possibilities?